Hey everybody, it's uh, Hari Swaminathan here. Thursday, September 9th, we're looking at our swing trades. Now, you can see the ES futures are down about 10 and the NQ is down about 27 or so. If you look at the ES charts so over a period of uh, a year, uh, this is a yearly chart. You can see that a small correction is coming in, but it's very gradual. We, uh, you know, we're not feeling much of it, but every day the futures are going down quite a bit. Uh, yesterday also it went down, but it uh, it did better. I mean, it, it, you know, it was uh, still a negative day. Today also the futures were down over 20. Now we are down about 10. So uh, I, I think we, we this kind of a small correction is to be expected, uh, and uh, so we'll see uh, we'll see how it uh, plays out. Let's take a look at our trades. Now, some of our trades are giving up profits. And so, uh, most importantly, FAST, uh, Goldman Sachs, Facebook. Uh, I mean, Facebook is okay. It's got 36 days. Uh, Microsoft, just not moving beyond the uh, 200 level. And so, what I want to do today, we've got to cycle through some of these trades anyway. So, I'm going to close FAST for about $600. Uh, Goldman Sachs will ultimately become a $4,500 trade. And so, we'll, uh, you know, we'll take that. Um, of course, it could have been uh, uh, better. We had uh, even up to 6,000 and then we had the potential for more. But then, see, if you try these things, one of these trades will work out and that will become a blockbuster. So, for example, Netflix can be that blockbuster. Uh, you know, Netflix now, we are up 10,500 on this trade. Spotify, we are up 3,800. Now, Netflix is also expiring in 15 days. But my sense is, let's keep Netflix because it's sitting right in the middle. Goldman Sachs did not move beyond that initial part. It was uh, getting overbought over there around the 415 level. So today I'm going to close fa uh, uh, FAST, I'm going to close Goldman Sachs and I'm going to close Microsoft. So these are three good trades, we'll close them out and uh, let's keep everything else. I, I, I do want to do two adjustments to uh, Amazon and Costco. As you can see, Amazon's also doing well. So I want to protect that move here. So let me go to Amazon. So on Amazon, I want to go to the 24th September, which is uh, about 15 days away. Uh, this will of course expire faster. So we're going to go to the 3,600, 3,610. You're getting about almost $3 in premium. That's uh, you know $1,500 on five contracts. So uh, let's protect the move uh, in that way. Same thing with Costco. What I'm doing is uh, Costco also has developed a, a small move at least. Costco is up about 700, I think 637. So I want to go behind the bull call, 24th September, 480, 490. Here we are getting $2 for it, so that's pretty good premium there. So let's do these two adjustments uh, and that's it. Uh, PayPal, uh, you know, PayPal was doing well yesterday and then it, uh, it, crashed, uh, it crashed over, uh, you know, $8 or so. Uh, Apple is good, Airbnb is good and we've got 22 days, 22 days. Uh, I, I'm tempted to keep Netflix for just a little bit more time. Uh, and of course, Spotify has 36 days. So we're going to close Microsoft, we're going to close Goldman Sachs and we're closing fast. Altogether, all of these should be about uh, a $7,000 profit in total. And then, of course, we've got all these other trades that are doing fantastic, including Netflix and, uh, and Spotify. So the new trade for today I'm looking at is uh, Tesla. Tesla has jumped back into the bullish. Let's see here. And uh, Tesla is uh, looking good on the charts. Uh, you can see that the MTFT is also nicely aligned. It was a little flattish uh, for some time. Now it's, it's moving up. So even though it's a down day, we can take a new trade on Tesla. Tesla is bound to move higher. So I've got the 15th October, which is about 40 days, I believe, um, which is 15th of, uh, October is about uh, 36 days. Let's go for the 760, 780 bull call spread. That's the new trade for today. Thank you.